Hi guys, it's Cola with your intuitive read for March the 12th through the 18th. This intuitive read will be for Capricorn. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you would like instant access to me, you can do so through Instant Go. Download it on your app store for iPhone, iOS users. You can also go to www www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom um that's for me also if you would like to book a longer read you can do that on my website www.intimatewisdom.net you can book and pay on my website as well all right so let's get started guys and guys if you guys want to get the video you do that through the shop if you guys want to book a read like an actual live phone read with me you do that through book online okay so let's see what we got for capricorn First message, Capricorn, we got the Five of Cups in reverse. So this does talk about healing from a situation, seeing things from a different perspective. With the Chariot card, maybe you needed to move forward or move past the situation. We also pulled the Eight of Cups. So this talks about you wanting to search for something more meaningful, moving on um, in a situation, maybe moving towards some type of stability, some type of foundation, kind of getting things in order. With the Eight of Wands, maybe you're putting an end to something. You're stopping something. The Tower card, this represents something ending, okay? This represents Present some shakeups. This could be some challenges or some delays with you moving forward with a situation. And this could be having something to do with a foundation, maybe a family situation. This is a, a delay, a change. We got the King of Cups. So this could be you needing to open yourself up to maybe um, resolving the situation from a different perspective or looking at the situation. Some of you guys are needing to just take a step back and kind of not be so hands on with the situation. I live in the hood, y'all. I think I heard that, y'all. Okay, sorry, Capricorn. My kids came home. <laughs> All right, so I pulled the hangman and the two of swords. The hangman could represent you. You either, either needed to sacrifice some part of your time, your life, to kind of gain some type of clarity within the situation before making a move, or this is you just needing to step back and let things unfold and not put too much attention into a situation. But I kind of think you've been doing that. So this is you needed to take a step back to gain some clarity. The two of swords, this represents you not looking at the truth of a situation you not either you're not making a move with something you're at a standstill with the seven of cups you're at a standstill you're at a stalemate you're not making the decision you're ignoring the truth of a situation you know the truth you know the clarity you know what you need to do and you're just not doing some of you guys are being deceptive in a situation you're manipulating the situation we got the seven of swords and the alchemist here the magician so some of you guys are manipulating the situation or being manipulative manipulative in a situation and right now you're going to be stuck at a standstill waiting for something to come into fruition or waiting for something to come your way within a situation what other messages do we have for capricorn march 12th through the 13th through the 18th <laughs> capricorn march 12th through the 18th we got the king of cups so this does talk about opening your energy maybe to someone from the past some type of soulmate situation with the king of swords this could be you needed to ask for assistance for something this could be also um and I got two kings here. So this could be dealing with a father situation, uh, some situation dealing with a man and a child or a man dealing with children. Could be some challenges or some delays. It could be some obstacles with the child. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So this could be obstacles with a child and their mother. This could be bothersome details, maybe going back and forth or arguments with the Six of Wands. This could be someone being very prideful, not actually listening to someone in the situation. You're just going by what they feel or what they desire. Someone who may be aggressive with their words as well. So let's see what other messages we have for Capricorn. Mm -mm, those three came out. Four. We got judgment in reverse. So some of you guys are needed to stop being so judgmental. The five of swords, you are very sure of your words. You're very sure of your thoughts. And you're very sure that you want to free yourself from a situation. You maybe see that there's something better for you or new opportunities um, that maybe you can be building, working toward. This star card, this represents maybe your feelings, your desires to move on. Some of you are desiring to be alone, be free of a situation. And I kind of think this is the main goal or the main the main message of these cards that just dropped. Some of you guys are wanting to be free. And I mean, just physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally free from something. All right. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? March the 12th. We got the Seven of Wands with the Queen of Swords. So this can represent maybe you needed to choose your words wisely with the Page of Pentacles. This could be dealing with someone younger than you. This could be dealing with a foundation. Choosing your words wisely. 
very much choosing your words wise we got the knight of wands right here so this does represent fast moving energy time being of the essence but this is also about carefully considering things so this is about carefully considering your words carefully considering the repercussions of your words with this king of wands this is someone who is very focused on getting something across very focused on getting their words across the six of swords you're wanting to move out of a situation but be careful and be mindful of how you present yourself in this situation you want to present yourself in this light Okay, and I kind of think this represents you, Capricorn. You want to present yourself as a very confident and very um, professional person in this situation. So choose your words wisely in whatever situations you're dealing with this week. All right, Capricorn. What do we have in love? So Capricorn, first message. Heart to heart conversation. So this is about honestly discussing your feelings, being honest about your emotions, okay? Being honest about what is going on within your heart and mind with your partner. We got the Ten of Cups. So this could be dealing with family issues. This could be dealing with children, okay? We got the Queen of Swords. Be mindful of your words, okay? The Queen of Swords does talk about, okay, maybe some of you guys are wanting to work. Either you're wanting to work on a relationship or some of you guys are wanting to be free. It's one or the other. Some of you guys may be wanting to be free. So maybe you're needing to sit to sit with your mate, have some heart to heart conversations and really express what's going on. Or some of you guys wanting to work on a relationship. So this talks about really expressing yourself, being clear with your words, clear with your decisions and expressing your love to your partner. We got reconciliation. So there's a chance for reconciliation if you're honest with your um with your thoughts. All right. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? We got children. It says your love life is being affected by children. We also got love yourself first. So I don't know if some of you guys are in a relationship because of children. This is about understanding that you cannot be in a relationship based on a child. You must free yourself if that is the case. Um, but this is also about loving yourself first with the Hermit card. This is about thinking about yourself and not in that negative way, but understanding that your happiness is important as well. The Ten of Pentacles, this is about your foundation, making sure that you're building your foundation off a strong foundation make sure that you're giving what you should in this situation with the magician card some of you guys are needed to manifest either a break from a situation manifest a way out of a situation because i think within this situation it may be a trouble situation an unhealthy situation because there's a lot of arguing and maybe you're just wanting a rest from that so this could be you needing to love yourself first although children may be affected in this situation it may be for the best What other messages do we have for Capricorn? We got very soon and let your friends help, okay? So, underlying energy being religious factors. This could be dealing with someone on a spiritual journey. This could also be dealing with some difference in spirituality or spiritual beliefs. But when you're talking about asking for help, this could be as simple as, and I kind of think sometimes when we're talking about emotions, this is just about getting those emotions out of you L letting someone be your soundboard so you can kind of discern what is valid in your emotions and what's not very soon you're going to have to decide something within a love relationship within a love relationship within the situation that you're in capricorn we got the chariot card with the ten of, of swords so this is someone getting out of a difficult situation this is someone finding the willpower to walk away from something with this five of cups something that didn't turn out the way you hope some of you guys have been holding on to a situation that you should very well walk away from and this could be with the cancer because we got the chariot card here so if you're dealing with the cancer or leo you're going to have to decide very soon whether or not you want to continue that relationship or not and it's like nothing you really can do about it. with the star card. This is something that's destined, okay? You're destined to have to have to have to make this choice. We also got retreat. So some of you guys are going to be retreating. Maybe it'll be too much for you. We got worth waiting for. So maybe the love that you desire is worth waiting for. Maybe the reason why you're having to stay in this situation right now could be to for some financial issues. We got the two of wands, so this does represent coming into your own. This represents new partnerships, new contracts with the King of Cups. Maybe you needed to open your energy up, weigh some options in regards to this situation um, and how to remedy it. We got a lot of bothersome details. We got the lovers underneath. So this, mm, We got the lovers in the Hierophant with the Eight of Wands. This could be... What the fuck? Okay, <clears throat> so here you are, Cancer. I mean, Cancer. <laughs> 
Here you are, Capricorn, the Devil card, with the Eight of Wands. So this is either energy coming from you, you exuding your energy, or you moving on into a situation, possibly with the Taurus or with someone of those characteristics, someone of a... Mm, this could be you moving toward a relationship or moving toward a Taurus um, in a romantic type of way. With this Five of Wands, there could be some challenges, obstacles. Um, so going back and forth in regards to this situation, in regards to the meshing of the situation, however it will work out, I'm not aware. But it does say it's divine timing is at work in your love life. So let's put these up and let's see what messages we got. messages do we have for Capricorn March 12th through the 18th okay so we got bodies of water and mother earth these two together are both about foundation so this means that maybe you guys are needing to balance out your foundations right now your advice is to get out find some firm ground in capricorn it says spend time near water such as lake rivers or the ocean to recharge your batteries and you are called on to help with environmentalism but both of these talk about foundation so maybe you're needing to concentrate a little bit more on your foundation we also got fairness so understand that whatever is going on in your life will be handled in a fair and just manner messages for Capricorn March 12th we got prosperity it says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving this is about opening your energy okay you may have opportunity situations that come around that um re that surface around you and maybe it's time for you to kind of take a leap of faith into a new kind of path all right. We also got be strong. It says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. Your underlying energy is blossomy. Expect a miracle in the arts. The arts talks about expressing yourself. So maybe it's time to express yourself through means other than, than verbal or text communication. Okay. So that's all I got. Until next time, Capricorn. Y'all have a good night.